Good day. This is uh, part 2 of the uh, systems analysis uh, topic being discussed. We now go to the different classification of systems. We uh, identified three classifications, physical or the abstract system, the uh, open and closed system, and the man-made information system. Now, there are several different sorts of system. These systems can be classified in a variety of ways in order to gain a better understanding of them. First is the physical or abstract system. Now, the physical system are physical objects that humans can touch and see or sense. These can be either static or dynamic. Take, for instance, a computer center. Desk and chairs are stationary components that aid in the uh, operation of the computer center. Parts that are static do not change. The dynamic system are always evolving on the other hand. Computer systems are dynamic systems like programs, data, and application can be changed to meet the demands of the user. Abstract system are conceptual. These are not physical entities. They may be formulas, representation, or model of a real system. The next is the open-closed system. To uh, achieve their goal, system interact with their surroundings. Environmental elements for the system are things that aren't part of the system. Systems can be split into two types based on how they uh, interact with their, with their envir environment. And uh, these two types are the open system and the closed system. So the uh, closed system are systems that do, uh, don't communicate with their surroundings. Closed systems are, are only exist in theory. Now, the third uh, classification of system is the uh, man-made information system. Now, the primary, primary goal of information system is to handle data for a certain company or business. A few functions include file maintenance, information production, and report writing. On information system, or an information system generates tailored data based on the uh, organization's requirements. Okay, so the different types of man-made information system are the formal information system, informal information systems, and the computer-based information system. Now, formal information system, uh, it is concerned with information flow from upper management to lower management. Memos, instructions, and other forms of communication flow uh, are examples of uh, this. Now, lower authority, on the other hand, may, may, uh, may provide uh, feedback to upper management. Now, information or informal information system, uh, here, employees are the heart of the uh, informal systems. These are designed to address difficulties that arise in the workplace on a regular basis. Third is the computer-based information system. Now, this class of system depends on the use of computer for managing business applications. We now go to our last topic, which is the uh, system theory. Okay, so the system theory is an interdisciplinary study of systems, external link as they relate to another within a larger, more complex system. System theory aims to explain the purpose or uh, and propose ideas about traits that emerge in complex systems but do not appear to occur in any one system within the total. Emergent behavior is the term for this. Okay, so when a complex system exhibits emergent behavior, it indicates that this feature exhibits traits that do not appear on their own. 
A simple example or as an example of a system theory, so a a good example for this is, for example, baking. Okay, consider all the ingredients that make up a cake. If you were to lay them out on your uh, counter and weren't familiar with the baked goods, it would be difficult to envision how the eggs, flour, sugar, etc. could be uh, combined and heated to create a cake. That's because no single ingredient or environment factor, in this case heat, would produce a baked good such as cake on its own, right? From the uh, perspective of system theory, the whole, our dessert, is this, uh, in this example, is greater than the sum of its parts. Now, imagine you have just baked good and you're unsure if it's, in, if, uh, it's ingredients. You taste it and it's sweet, so you can reasonably hypothesize it includes sugar. But what gives it its other qualities? Now, to find out, you'd need to learn the rest of the ingredients and how they were combined to make the final product. The application of system theory involves looking at, at how the ingredients, which is the system, okay, came together to make the cake. This is the complex system as a whole. And how this ultimately gave us the end result that none of these uh, properties could uh, produce on their own without a change to their environment. So this is emergent characteristics. So that is the system theory. And that concludes this topic. Thanks for watching.